Good evening. Welcome to Vespers from First United Methodist Church in Ann Arbor. This evening, we once more delve into the book, Soul Feast, written by Marjorie Thompson. Our exploration this evening is the meaning of Sabbath. Some might see it as a day for going to church. Even that on a regular basis is a challenge in itself. But what other purpose might be suggested in that word? Is it to rest? And if so, what is the quality of our rest? How do we prepare or structure our days to include time to abide with God? Join us in song, prayer, and reading of scripture to inspire our study. Join me in the responsive call to worship. To know the warmth of love. To, to have, have the assurance, assurance that, that someone cares. cares. To be confident of our worth. To, to be, be bold, bold to, to love and return. return. To be washed over with grace. To, to be, be accepted, accepted as, as we, we are. This is to know a bit of God. This, this is, is to, to worship, worship God. God. Let's sing together, Near to the Heart of God. There is a place of comfort sweet Near to the heart of God A place where we, our Savior, meet Near to the heart of God O oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold us who wait before thee, near to the heart of God. There is a place of full release, near to the heart of God, a place where all is joy and peace, near to the heart of God. O Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold us who of God. Our reading this evening comes again from Soul Feast by Marjorie Thompson from the chapter entitled Reclaiming Sabbath Time. How often do we even think of rest for the soul? When our bodies get weary from strenuous physical activity, the stress of driving in rush hour traffic, or hours of sitting before a computer screen, we feel the need for rest. We recognize the experience of mental fatigue when dealing with ambiguities, difficult decisions, or conflicting emotions. But how do we gauge the needs of our souls? Jesus' words suggest that this inner core of our being, our very life force and vitality, also needs rest. Does he perhaps mean heart rest, inward peace, deep joy? For surely these are the kinds of gifts Jesus offers when he said, Come to me, all of you that are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Jesus implies that being with him is a form of Sabbath. The essence of Sabbath is rest and renewal for the soul. In good Jewish fashion, this naturally includes our bodies and minds. Yet if rest does not reach the depth of our soul, 
It is merely vacation, not Sabbath. We need time out with God, not just time off from work. In our 24-7 world, we have become electronically wired for unremitting availability to one another via cell phones, email, texting, social media. Amid this glut of technological connectivity, we would do well to recall that Jesus was not always available to people when he walked this earth. Much to the consternation of family, disciples, crowds, and religious leaders, he simply disappeared at regular intervals to be sustained and renewed in his relationship with the one whose life he so intimately shared and from whom his power for ministry came. Take, Oh, Take Me As I Am is our next song. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. The scripture tonight is from the translation of the Common English Bible. And the first scripture is from the Old Testament, the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verses 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day and treat it as holy. Six days you may work and do all of your tasks, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. Do not do any work on it, not you, your sons or daughters, your male or female servants, your animals, or the immigrant who is living with you. Because the Lord made the heavens and earth, the sea and everything that is in them in six days, but rested on the seventh day. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. The second scripture is from the New Testament book of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke and learn from me. I'm gentle and humble and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. Rest, sacred, renewal, with God. What words describe your Sabbath time? And tonight, reflect upon how your Sabbath might be transformed to nourish your soul even more.
God of rest. Today, I make the active choice to enter into your rest and to join with you in delighting in this good world you have made and dreaming of the perfect world you will remake. I choose to tune out of demands and deadlines, of performance pressures, of flickering screens, of that which robs my soul of joy and the ways in which the world seeks to define and shape my identity. I choose to tune in to your affirmation and love, to the celebration of freedom, to worship and your word, to the enjoyment of that which fills my soul with joy and reminds me of my identity in Christ as a deeply loved child of God. Amen. Once again, our Vesper service draws to a close. May your night provide abundant rest to meet your physical needs. And may God continually equip your spirit with the reading of scripture and prayer. Now prepare an addition to the feast by making more space for Sabbath. Rest and renewal as commanded by God and modeled in the life of Christ our Lord. Blessings on your days until we meet again. May God's wisdom be the store from where our daily thoughts are gathered. May God's love be a flowing river, bringing peace to heart and soul. May God's whisper be a word in time, breaking through the world's clamor. May God's faithfulness be our strength and hope within the storms we face. Amen. Thank you.